What's going on guys? Anthony from Simple Tech Talk here where I help you get the most out of your Android device. And today I just wanted to go into a couple of advanced features within your settings that'll help you use your S8 or S8 Plus a bit more efficiently. One of the things that I wanted to let you guys know about is the fingerprint gesture. Now I keep having a back and forth kind of conversation with, uh, with techies alike and friends about the placement and everything about this. Let me tell you, I have no problems with it. it I find it makes sense. There is a wireless charger that is built into this phone. So putting the sensor up top by the camera I understand it. Um, it may not be the best placement in the world, but uh, I guess from an engineering standpoint, it makes sense, right? But one of the things that I love about this is I can actually access my notification shade from my fingerprint. And what I mean, and I'll show you, it's gonna look like this, right? So forgive the uh, bright lights, but if you swipe down, you're gonna get your notifications, right? And that's cool. But now I can actually do that with my fingerprint. Isn't that awesome? So right there, that's one of those features that makes it easier. So if I'm holding my phone and I'm getting a text message or if I'm in the middle of something and I get a message, I can swipe down and get my notification shade and it's actually really, really cool. And I'm gonna teach you how to go into that setting to turn that feature on. So the first thing you wanna do is gonna go into your settings button and you're gonna go down into uh, advanced features and within advanced features, you're gonna see a couple of options right off the top from one-handed mode and finger uh, gestures, all right? Finger sensor gestures, you wanna turn that on. Once you do that, you can actually swipe down and you'll have your, um, your notifications pulled down. That's really a great feature. You can swipe it back up to get rid of it as well. The other thing I wanted to talk about was your multitasking button. So what happens with that is right now, um, as it was with the six and the sevens and previous phones before, you, you tap that button and it'll open up a cascade window of different options that you uh, have been in, different applications you were in previously. And that's really nice. And then the update um, on 7.0 for the sixes and the sevens and now built in with this phone with the eight, you can now double tap it to open up one where the app you were in and double tap and get into the previous application, which is also really cool so in a, in a moment where you're trying to take information from one app and push it into the next and copy paste doesn't work this is really efficient now what you can do on the other hand of that is press and hold the multitasking button and enable multi-tasking uh, windows or multi windows so you can have two apps open at the same time now my gripe with Samsung is they did change this uh, feature and the way it works and looks and I like the old way it looks. I don't like this pop-up view where it's a little convoluted. There's new symbols that they didn't explain to anyone. So for me, old dog, new tricks, and I like to show you guys to go back to that old way. So the way you do that now is you're gonna go into the settings, and once you're in settings, you're gonna go back to advanced features. And you're gonna go down a little bit to multi-window. And once you're in multi-window, um, you may have pop-up view action, which again, if you have the larger phone, swiping from the top corner of the phone is not really efficient. You wanna make sure use recent buttons is turned on. And then once you tap on that, you actually get a bit more of an option, right? So split screen view and snap window. And that's where it is by default right now with the new S8, and I'm not a fan. So we're gonna put it back to the split screen view and then you press and hold, and you should be able to see that you have your settings button and your previous apps. And also, you can also hit on the more apps button and get a lot more options, which I think is really cool. So that's one way to get around that. The other thing is quick tip while you're in there. Um, what you can do with that is between the two uh, applications that you're in, you will be able to uh, dictate which one goes where. You can touch on the middle button, uh, the little white split in the middle and you can adjust the size of one app versus the other you can switch places and one of my favorite features you can actually do a little floating button what you're going to do is tap on the double squares um, once you tap on the middle and close out the window and you'll get a floating button all right guys so uh, i hope this works out for you as always i enjoy making these videos for you please like comment and subscribe and i'll talk to you guys later peace